Hello, hi, and welcome to the next video in our access series where we are going to talk about forms because what we have made in the previous ones, um, we have actually created this relationship here between our four tables. So we have relationships, we can enter data, but to do so, if I want to add a movie, I go to movies, I have to go click in the line here, new, right? And there I have to give a name for a movie. Uh, let's go uh, Spirit Writer. I'm just taking random names. Um, and I need to do stuff like this and still the shop. The shop is through bound through the ID. So I need to know as the user, which shop has which number. Of course, I could now open the shop list here and I see, hey, okay, shop number two is the one I want. And then I need to enter this here. But that is very inconvenient, right? So to make changes to this, I mean, it works. It works perfectly fine, but it's just not good. It's not convenient because the one that is going to create all the data here, the one that is going to create all the layout, the design is usually not the one that is going to put in the data and uses the databases. So um, we are right now the one that creates everything, but we want to make it convenient for the person that uses it. So we want to create something for the purpose of putting data in. Therefore we go to create and what we are, what I'm talking about is the form wizard. We're talking about forms. Um, I want to have like a sheet of paper and the person just types in or writes down the information and this is automatically saved in the database. If we want to get the piece of paper again, we can use the form as well to check out, hey, what was the data again? Um, there's a form, there's form design, blank form and the form wizard in the first place right now, we are going to use the form wizard because it will help us to set up a lot of data. So form wizard, whoop. Now it asks us, uh, what should the form be used for? Which fields should it use from which table? So of course we want to uh, concentrate on putting in movies. We could also put in shops or languages, but right now uh, we just want to concentrate on movies. And then it asks us, hey, which fields do you want on the form? Which, which things should be available for the user? If you want just one thing, just select one thing. If you want two things, just select whatever you want. In this case, we actually want everything. Going to the next. Then the wizard helps you to set up a layout. This can be changed later on. This is just how does this look like? So we can just choose whatever we have here in the beginning because usually those forms are pretty big. If you have, for example, employee data, you don't just have four entries, you have hundreds different things. So we go to next. It needs a name. And I usually give it something different than the table it came from because right now, if I just give it the name movies, you could confuse it with the table movies. So I give it the name movies form. We can also choose if we want to modify the design right now. I don't want to modify design. Everything is fine for now. Let's just view it and enter information. Finish. So there we have our form. This was all automatically created now with the data we have given it. Um, on the bottom left right here, you see, you can go to the next entry. So we can actually go through the table movies with this, right? You see, we have not nine entries. And actually everything for every single entry is listed. So entry six, for example, is uh, Pekamons. <laughs> it came out, uh, it was released on the 9th of October, 2019. And we bought it in shop number two. You see some things are still not okay. We are going to change those now. Um, after putting one more entry, if I go down here, you also see new blank record. If you click, click on new blank record, you will have an empty one and you can put in the data here that you want this movie to have. This one was released there. It is the name is uh, I still have movies that's um, saw blade and we bought it in shop number three. If I put in shop number seven, for example, um, it will say you cannot add or change a record because a related record is required in table shops. We do not have a shop number seven, so we can't put that in here. It needs to be one, two or three because we have three shops. This is still inconvenient. We are going to change it in a second. 
Let's actually change the layout of this a little bit because this looks, this is not so good to use yet. So we can always go to our design view here on the bottom right. So let's go to the design view and I want to make some adjustments. I want this movie ID is just a passive element. So the user should not be able to change it. They can see it, but they should not be able to change it. So to do that, to do this, you just select the field and on the right side, you have the property sheet. Um, Sometimes you have to double click on the field because you close the property sheet. Like if I close it, it's not enough. If I just click once, I actually have to click twice. <clears throat> In here, for this field movie ID, it should be a passive field that the user cannot use. It's just for viewing. So enabled, I put on no, because then it cannot be clicked on. And locked, I will say Yes, even if you could somehow get into it, even though it's not enabled, you cannot change the value. We can also change the formatting a little bit. So let's change the format. Uh, for example, usually if you have a field that you cannot change the border, there is no border. That's how it usually is. So good, we changed some things here. How does that look like in our form view? This is way better, right? You see movie ID, I cannot click on it. I cannot change it. Perfect. Some more changes, the release date, the movie name should come next, right? So we go to our design view. We can also do it in the layout view here. So in the layout view, we can actually select multiple elements right? and we can select and drag and drop things here, right? Uh, so I take my movie name and I just drag and drop it higher until it is right where I want it. If you want like a grid and everything, I always prefer doing this in the design view because um, <clears throat> here you have a grid and everything. You could also go to arrange up here and actually do a lot of things, which I don't like to do right now. So uh, we can just manually drag and drop things. So this movie name, because it has maximum 255 characters, the field is very huge. I want it a little bit smaller so I can just drag and drop it smaller. Uh, now the release is down here. No, I want the release actually here. All right. And the shop we will take care of in a second. So let's go back to our form view and you see this is way better. This already looks way better. <clears throat> the thing I want to change next is that this shop one, two, three, that's stupid. I don't want this. So let's select it in our design view and actually let's delete it. Hitting delete on your keyboard. <clears throat> what I want um, there, right? What I want there is um, actually the, the shop should be from a drop down, right? And with a name. So yeah, let's do this. This is uh, possible through a so-called combo box. You will find the combo box on top on design in our design view and we just click on it and you can just select anywhere on your form. It just hit it and there will be a pop-up, a wizard. Again, a wizard that is going to help you to set this up. So combo box wizard, I want the combo box to get values from another table or query. So I want the data from a table. I want to type it in manually. No, I want, no, no. I want the data to be from another table. Yes. Which table should this be from? This should be, of course, from movies, right? Because we want to um, display the, the movie, right? <laughs> Uh, the shop of the single movie. Next, which, wait, no, we want from the shops, of course. We want from the shop. Yes, <laughs> sorry, we want to display the shop. So I select shop. If I select movies, we just have the same things that we already have displayed. Uh, I want shops. And what do I want to display from the shops? The shop ID, shop one, two, three, can help. Yeah, let's put it in. Uh, the name, the street, the house number, I want everything. So just select the button here and everything will be imported. I click next um, and we can select an order. Should the drop down be sorted by the name, by the ID? Let's make it, um, let's make it sorted by the shop name. Right? And ascending or descending, you can select there. Next, this is how the drop down is going to look like. We can now change it a little bit, make fields bigger or smaller. Give it a little bit more space. I usually give it plenty space. And we have the last thing, hide the key column, right? You can see it is selected from the beginning. If we deselect it, but you see that the ID 
is also listed in the combo box in the drop down which we don't need so i usually uh, it is recommended to actually deselect it because the user does not care about the number of the uh, primary key in the um, database itself go to next we can say hey if you change this value through the drop down where do you want to save the value in um, do you want to remember it for later use? No, I want to actually, if I select something else, it should be saved immediately. So store that value in a field. And this should be, of course, stored in our shop, in our movies database, uh, in our movies table in the shop, right? because we selected a different shop. Next, and this should give it, get a name. I will just give it the name shop and finish. Right. So now I can still put that where I want it here on the um on our form if i just drag and drop you see i drag both right this is a little bit annoying so i just put this here and the uh, name also floats with us if you just want the name to move the name you have to select the little gray box on the top left and push it there right so now i can save and let's go back to the form view and you see now i can see which in which shop did i buy the movie right it's a little bit small. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's go to the design view. I select this. I just drop it, drag and drop it a little bit bigger. And that's it. You see how easy and convenient this is. Now I realize, hey, Avatar, when, which shop was it actually bought in Mars? Mars Broadway 7. So you can always open the, uh, drop, uh, the, the drop down. If you decide, hey, this should actually be from a different market. I actually bought it at Media Market. Um, just select this. And now it's directly saved in the movies database. So if we go to Avatar, it should now be bought at Media Market, right? It was bought in shop one, which is Media Market. What a stupid name. Good. <clears throat> so that is already pretty awesome. The last thing in this video is we want to um, have some navigation buttons on the bottom left this is not how you want to navigate with those little little buttons that's a bit, little bit stupid so let's go back to our design view and let's add some buttons on our form to do this on the top in design you actually have the button right so let's click on the button and let's put that maybe in the form header now it asks you hey which kind of button do you want i want a navigation Right. I want to go to the previous entry or to the next entry, previous record or next record. So I want the previous record. So this is how the button is going to look like. Next, yeah, go to previous. That's what we want. We could also change the picture or just put it as a text. No, I want the picture. And this box will also get a name. This button will get a name. Um, previous record finish and you see now we have this button up here um, let's also put the next record button here so another button button uh, record navigation next record next yes this is what we want the picture and this should be next record here we go got this and we're good maybe one more button um, hmm. Yeah, record navigation is done. We want record operations and we want to add a new record, right? We want to add a new record. So next, yeah, you can see, we can choose a different picture, which I don't want to. Next, this is add record finished. And this is how we are going to create a new one. Let's put it a little bit more away from these two, done. So now you can see I have some navigation here and I can also, if I click on add new record, it will ask us, hey, you have selected to make a new one. Sure, let's do this. Let's select a new movie. This is Ice, not age, but Ice Year. <laughs> and it was bought in shop Media Market. Done, right? We save and now we're done with this. So that's basic forms. I will make a second video about this because something is still missing. We are still missing this language form on here, right? What, how do we select the language? The problem with the language form is a movie can have not just one language, but an infinite amount. So this is a one to 
uh, it's an M N to M relation. It's a many to many relation. So how we put that on our form here, uh, I will cover in the next video. Um, so don't forget to like, <laughs> don't forget to subscribe. If you have a question, just put it down in the comments below. Um, and if this was any helpful, did I already say, don't forget to like and subscribe. Yes, I did. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>